hey guys welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Millie and if you're my channel subscriber hey I appreciate you yes um so guys what is success what is success to you can you leave in the comments and tell me what is success to you I googled the definition of success and um, here I found uh, a definition where success is the achievement of something that you have been trying to do Number two, success is the achievement of a high position in a particular field, for example, in business or politics. And number three, someone or something that is a success achieves a high position, makes a lot of money or is admired a great deal. Can you imagine that is the definition? I, I, I think it's all correct, but I think I'll go with the achievement of something that you have been trying to do. I, th I think it should be redefined, to be honest. Because when they, they are saying like success is the achievement of a high position in a particular field, for example, in business or politics. So a teacher is not successful. It's not, it's not a successful. A nurse like me, no, I'm not successful because uh, I'm not in a high position anywhere, you know. And uh, number three was someone or something that is a success achieves a high position, makes a lot of money or is admired a great deal. Again, teacher, nurse, people who build houses, electricians, we are not successful because uh, we are not making a lot of money and no, we are not being admired a great deal. So that means we are not successful. What are we then? Um, at my age right now, I'm 49, I'm turning 50 next year. I think for me, success is not the same thing it was when I was younger. And I wish when I was younger, somebody had talked to me about success. Because I think a lot of our young people are getting in problems because they're trying to reach success. They're trying to reach what society says defines success. Yes, people are trying to reach what society defines as success. And this is causing a lot of problems, actually. And the kids are getting so stressed about it because they think they all have to go to university. And uh, yeah, all these... Um, if you on Instagram, on YouTube, and the social media, you see the people who are like successful are the ones who are driving like expensive cars, are the ones who are living in mansions, and uh, this is really, really causing a lot of problems. And um, at least for me, at my age, I define success very differently. I think from a lot of young people, and, but I think these days a lot of young people are redefining what success is because you see a lot of young people are saying they 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 are not career oriented oriented they um what were they saying i think it was very uh, trending it has been training this like i have no ambitions i think yeah it was people it was going on young people saying i have no ambitions you know you see a lot of young people are saying oh this uh, nine to five i don't want nine to five and uh I think it's also kind of a trend and I think some people are just saying that just to get some views because we can all not stop having nine to five. We can all not stop having careers. We can all not st stop having ambitions, you know. I'm glad my doctor has ambitions. I'm glad the young uh, people who have ambitions to be doctors uh, because what will we do without doctors? What will we do without engineers, you know. So I'm glad there's a lot of people who have um, ambitions and it's so sad to see like some people like saying these things on youtube like nine to five were the trick or they tricked you or was a lie and this and that i just don't get all this nonsense like these people don't do they not go to doctors do they not go to dentists you know where are they gonna go like do they not fly you know all these engineers well do they not have electricity you know should we all just start staying like uh, uh, like on the grid or or like this slowly i don't know if it's called slow living like living like uh, not having anything and just planting our own food and stuff like that i i, I don't understand and um I, I think people should do what they want but i think definitely it's important to be a de another redefinition of success because i mean guys have you ever had somebody you always hear people say oh, he's a successful surgeon he's a successful doctor he's a successful um engineer He's a successful um, therapist. Do you ever hear somebody say he's a successful nurse? Or he's a successful teacher? Or he's a, she's a successful housewife? Or she's a successful midwife? 
she's a successful service lady, ladies who are cleaning, you know. Nobody ever says that because success means you have to go study, go have university, have all these degrees, you know. But there's different kind of success. And I think we need to put this into our children. We also need to redefine that because I think even us, um, some grown up people, like you meet people in the 40s and their 50s and they're still chasing success, you know. They think if they take all this education, if they take this uh, PhD, it's gonna make them successful. Like, because you're gonna tell somebody I have PhD and oh, suddenly you're successful. No, I mean, there are people who are successful like definition of, definition of successful doctors engineers and this and that and they're unhappy in their lives you know and everything else in their life is miserable and maybe their children are not doing well because well i guess their children are trying to live up to their parents and they they turn to doing the things they're not supposed to do in order to cope some of i know like there's um some people in in denmark they come from a certain country i'm going to not going to say that these people is like they're not going to settle for their son to be an electrician or, or they want their children to be like doctors, engineers, uh, surgeons and stuff like that. They don't want their children to be like electricians and uh, people who build houses and stuff like that. Yet the, the, peop the people who do this kind of thing like electricians and the builders and uh, I don't know. Who, who are happy, who are, who, who are quite successful, you know, they have their wife at home, they have a good family, isn't that success? Isn't, isn't having a good family and being happy and raising good children, isn't that successful? If you are, um, I think some people like uh, those who, ladies who go home and don't go to work, they probably feel like, uh, maybe they feel successful, but some people, they don't look at them like they're successful. But what about raising small children and making sure they're getting a good start in life? Isn't that being a successful mother? You know, teachers who are teaching our children, they're like, uh, teachers are so important, you know, they're the ones who, who create us, who make us, you know. You never hear anybody saying, oh, a successful teacher. We Teachers are just teachers. Us nurses, we are just nurses, you know. But, but like, we should redefine it. Also, when we redefine it, maybe there will be less stress for our children who are trying to go and be engineers. Maybe they want even to do something else. Like I said, there is a, um, some people in Denmark who come some parts of of the world i'm not gonna say where from but they like no in in their families like if you want to say you're an electrician if you come if that child if their daughter come and brings a, a man who is an electrician they might even say no no because they want a doctor i knew somebody who who i think a lady a young lady her family they they, they were like that and she came home i think with i think actually he was an electrician or somebody who built houses you know the mom was so disappointed she didn't want anything to do with this guy probably was a nice guy who was gonna make this girl happy and no especially the mom she was not happy about that and she was the kind of person who always said my friend who is a lawyer my friend who is a doctor oh our our friend who is this and that and i think people like oh if they don't have a big house, a big mansion, if the people think like, because they have a big house. And sometimes, okay, it doesn't even have to do with the education. Sometimes like, just because people are rich and they have money, ah, they are successful, you know? So I think for me, with success means like, you have achieved something with, even if it doesn't have to do, like you have taken a higher education, you, you, you have created something nice, you know? That is success, you know? If you run and you finish your goal in, in whatever you expected, that's a success, you know? If you are going home and you're raising your children and your children are coming out well, you, you raise your children, they grow up and they, they, they find jobs that they love, not what like you expect them. They find wives or spouses or they, they, they marry in a family they like because you, you, you accepted that. That's being successful, you know? But if, you're, if your daughter or your son are going to get to go marry somebody just because they're an engineer, just because they're a doctor, not because that's what they wanted, but that's what because the parents ex expect, that's not success. I don't think that is being a successful uh, parent. And I think these people that are going to fail, you know, instead of like, oh, they're married to a doctor, a successful doctor. Yes, they're going to be married to a successful doctor and they're going to fail because maybe they don't even love this doctor. They just married him because he was a doctor, you know. So instead of them going and marrying somebody that they love and, and end up being in a successful relationship, you know. I think we need to talk about more like relationships than than like titles, like, like successful doctors, successful um, pilot, you know. 
let's talk about successful relationship this i know this will they have a successful relationship they're very happy you know oh she's a successful um, uh, they're successful parents you know they raise their children very well but you don't hear you don't hear this kind of thing so um i think people in our age we should redefine this because a lot of us still have children my, my daughter is one of those uh, people who she's I, I i see her like a successful young lady because uh, she makes her decisions she wants a, a simple life and uh, that means also like a, a simple job she, something she's going to, she loves but it has to, not to be like what society expects of her and I think she says also like when she tells people what she wants to do people always look at her like oh just for right now before you you do something else no that's what she that's what she wants to do you know that's what she has so, she's chosen to do but I think because society and a lot of people who know her expect something else than what she expects of herself so when she tells people that they're, they're kind of like oh you're doing that right now you're going to do something else it shouldn't be like that there's some people who go and, and and go like take education take this get phds and all this and that and maybe they're never gonna get a job i think we need to redefine it like uh, you have cho you you have raised your children and they're very happy that is a success you know you have uh, you have worked hard no matter what you have worked hard you you are a farmer you are a teacher you are successful you know if you're if you're those kids you have taught they come back and, 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 and say thank you and uh, you are a very, very great teacher. You're a successful teacher. So um, let's redefine success ourselves and not feel like we're successful because of what society expects us to be. Not because society has these criteria of what success is. Yes, we should, be, we should look at ourselves and redefine success within ourselves you know and for some people maybe like for some families for them like if if their children their doctors their lawyers that's it that's how they define success that's fine but there are also some people who are only like trying to do this because society is expecting them because family members are expecting them you know their parents are expecting them you know so we we really really need to redefine that uh, at our age also we should like if you're 50 and, and you're chasing you you know, life is going to pass by you while you're out there trying to 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 um, to, to chase success. You know, you know. Let's have, be happy with the life we have. You know, you might be out there trying to chase success. You're chasing success. You you end up not ever getting success, and, and then life passes by you while you are trying to to chase success. You know, so let's redefine success and uh, change people's lives and uh, our children maybe our grandchildren and uh, i think when i have my grandchildren i think um, i'll talk to them about success in a different way you know so guys leave in the comments how, how you define success and uh leave in the comments if you agree with me or if you disagree with me and let's start some kind of discussion right so thank you for watching guys and i hope to see you in another video Mwah. bye